Hi, welcome to my channel Fusion Inspired. I've had a request from one of my customers, Mark, who will be cooking the garlic chili chicken this weekend, and he wants to know what kind of side dish will go with it. So this is for you, Mark. Um, today I'll be cooking for you the famous, probably the king of all side dishes, the Bombay potato. Okay, guys, got all the spices here. We're gonna start with the dry spices. Turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, cumin seeds, potatoes, green pepper, onions, oil, a tomato based sauce that I made with peeled tomatoes and tomato puree, coriander, green chilies, fresh mint, garlic ginger paste, and your salt. Okay guys, as you can see the pan is, the water has been boiling. Um, we're gonna put the potatoes in. Oh. Now we're gonna let that boil for about 10 minutes. We'll see how that goes. Right, there is one thing I've forgotten, is the salt. Right guys, it's been about 10 minutes, so we're gonna quickly check the potatoes. Yep, they're done. So we're gonna strain those out. Right, let's strain all this out now. Right guys, all the potatoes done. I'm gonna just season it a little bit of black pepper and we'll let it cool down while we get into the next bit. Bombay potato is a really popular dish on the menu. Everybody loves it. And I really hope, uh, Mark, you're, you're gonna enjoy this and everybody else is watching is gonna try this out and um, see what they think. Uh, we, we normally don't use mint when we cook Bombay potatoes, um, but today I thought, you know, give it a nice little different taste and nice freshness. And we'll put the chilies in, give it a bit of heat, but you don't have to put the chilies in. I mean. If you want it mild, that's totally fine. But people that like spicy food, I mean, if you see, I'm always putting chilies in everything. Um, but I think you guys will really um, enjoy this dish. Okay, guys, get your next part of the cooking. Nice hot pan. Just a little bit of oil. And here, first thing we're gonna do is put this cumin seeds in. They have a really nice aroma and they're, and they're quite earthy, nutty. You can hear them sizzling. It just needs to sizzle that for about 30 seconds. Right, it's been about another 30 seconds. So in with the onions. Especially with onions guys, you really need to cook them off. So the more you're going to cook the onions, the more flavour you're going to get from your dish. So I reckon if we just leave that for another two, three minutes. And one thing I need to do, put the salt in there. And that will release all the moisture. Right, so we're going to leave that for another two, three minutes. Right guys, the onion's been sweating off now for about another two, three minutes, as you can see now. Ready for the next part. We're gonna put in the garlic ginger paste. Mix that up a little bit. It's quite easy to make garlic ginger paste. The quality is basically half the ginger, half of the garlic. Make a bunch, you can just freeze it, put it in like an ice cube container, and then just pop it out when you need it. Here we've got the sauce that I made, basically peeled tomatoes and tomato puree. Basically just mix it together and blended it. So that needs to cook for another couple of minutes. Right, it's been another couple of minutes. So you can see the onions really softened. Now we're going to add the dry spices in. So we've got here, as you can see, turmeric, the coriander powder, and your cumin powder. Put that all in there. Give it a little mix. I really smell everything. Fantastic. It smells really good. 
see how this goes in a couple of minutes. We might need to put a little bit of water in there. We've, we've got quite a bit of tomato paste in there, so it should be right. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. Give it a bit of moisture. Bombay potatoes are really famous dish. I mean, we sell so much of it in a restaurant. Everybody wants a Bombay potato. And it's actually quite simple to make. Right, in with the green chilies. This is optional, you don't have to put it in there. But like you see with all my videos, I'm always putting chilies in there. This will really give it a nice kick. I'm going to put some peppers in there. ready for the potatoes now it's good to let, um, let the potatoes cool down otherwise they could break up um, when you mix them up right we've coated all the potatoes with all the spices have a look at that it smells amazing normally I taste the dish and let you know what it's like today I'm going to let you cook it and then let me know what you guys think. Right, we're going to put some fresh mint in there. This is not something we use in the restaurant for Bombay potatoes. Potato and mint is a great combination. And all those chilies. And then you've got coriander. Mix it all up. Right guys, your Bombay potato is done. Just going to get ready to plate it up. Right guys, now we're going to serve this up. I can really smell that mint. All those potatoes. Oh, look at that. That's for you, Mark. Hope you're going to enjoy this dish with your garlic chilli chicken even more chilies in this dish for you mate right guys there's your Bombay potato have a look smell mint from here spices I'm really tempted to try it I did say I'm not going to try it but um, no actually I won't as I said I won't try it I'll try it let's see you guys try it and then let me know what you think right guys that's my take on the Bombay potato Hope you guys enjoyed it. Try the recipe at home, see how it goes, let me know. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Share with your family and friends. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you.